So, as you can probably tell by looking at me, I am from the Central Coast. <laughs> Tony Wong keeps giving it away. I'm from a town called Woi Woi. <laughs> now, for the few of you who don't know what Woi Woi is, just imagine a suburb where everyone goes straight to whiskey from Red Cordial. <laughs> Fun fact, that's why they call it Johnny Walker Red. <laughs> what you probably can't tell by looking at me is that I'm a Muslim. I lived in the Middle East for a couple of years. I converted to Islam and it's now a, a pretty big part of my life. But the challenge is I, I don't look very Muslim, you know? So every time I go into the mosque, they just assume I'm lost and gliding back to the <laughs> Pushed me towards the TAB. <laughs> Lock the doors. <laughs> but it gets me in a lot of trouble. Like last last weekend, I did a comedy show in Campbelltown. Now, for those of you who don't know Campbelltown, it's like Woi Woi, but with double the confidence. <laughs> I did a set, and in the set, the comedy set, I've got a bunch of jokes about meeting girls on a dating app called Muzmatch. Yeah, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and it went really well, Campbelltown loved it. And I got off the stage and went to the bathroom, and I was in the toilet cubicle on the far side of the bathroom when I was approached by two boisterous local youths. <laughs> And it started all right. They came up to me and they said, um, Oh, Muzmatch, that's hilarious, eh? You're so funny. I was like, Oh, yeah, thanks, boys. I've been... It was pretty funny, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> then they hit me with the Muslims are the worst kind of people, though, eh? It's what I call the Campbelltown twist. <laughs> I was too shocked to respond, but, you know, I expressed my disgust. I was basically doing these ones. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, my friends, they didn't, my new friends, they didn't pick up on the social cues. They, um, they continued on. They said, imagine what we'd do if we found one here, eh? <clears throat> yeah, imagine. <laughs> we'd get them. <laughs> and I was starting to get worried, guys. I was starting to get genuinely, like, concerned, you know? But at that moment, I remembered, I speak fluent boy boy. <laughs> I know exactly how to get out of this situation. <clears throat> How's your night going anyway, boys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cronulla rights, 9-11 cryptocurrency. <laughs> Bit of Andrew Tate for the boys, eh? <laughs> A couple of two East News, you boys a couple of cheeky ones, yeah? Or... <laughs> Go the pies or the cats. <laughs> and then I couldn't help myself, guys. I'm a Muslim, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of there. Thanks, everyone. My name's Kurt. <laughs>